Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra leave for Hathras in Uttar Pradesh to meet the family of 20-year-old woman who died after being gang raped and tortured. This after the dead of night cremation by the UP police provoked nationwide outrage. Congress leaders may find it tough to enter Hathras with the administration banning large gatherings, putting up barricades and sealing the borders, citing coronavirus. Amid outrage over the gang rape and death of a young woman in Uttar Pradesh's Hathras, another horrific case reported from the state. A little more than 500 kilometers from Hathras, a 22-year-old Dalit woman died after being allegedly raped and assaulted on Tuesday evening. The young woman in Balrampur had died while being taken to the hospital in Lucknow. The police have said that two accused in the case have been arrested, but also claim that the post-mortem has not revealed injuries to the woman. Filmmaker Anurag Kashyap reached Vasova police station on Thursday morning to record a statement in connection with the less sexual assault case filed by a 30-year-old actor. On September 22nd, Mumbai police had filed the first information report against Kashyap after the complainant had accused him of sexual misconduct in 2013. India has reached another grim milestone in the battle against the coronavirus pandemic, with the tally soaring past the 63 lakh mark, 86,821 new coronavirus cases and 1,181 deaths were recorded in the last 24 hours. The country now has 63 lakh 12,585 cases of coronavirus, with a death toll of 98,678. Maharashtra also has the highest recoveries in India. Kerala and four worst hit states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu reported the highest is one day increase of any state in the past 24 hours. The Ministry of Home Affairs has issued another set of guidelines for the next phase of Unlock to kickstart the economy. Unlock 5 guidelines will come into force from October 1st and will continue till October 31st. Cinema halls that were completely shut since March will open from October 15th. Theatres and multiplexes outside containment zones can reopen with up to 50% seating capacity. The states and union territory governments to take a decision on reopening schools after October 15th in a graded manner. Swimming pools that are used for training of sportspersons will be allowed to reopen.